Project Swatch. This is Sir P. Now, today I'm going to talk about two things. The first one will be showing you a video from the murder that I recently discussed. A uh, mother of two by the name of Chevelle. She worked at a gas station. White man pulled up on her and shoot her. We now have the footage. I'm going to show you. Not because I'm wanting to see how it actually play out completely, but because I want to time it. Often times I tell you now, this idea you have in your mind say you have time on your side, either a robbery or a murder, not no ghost. Next thing I'm going to be talking about is the whole Mali epidemic in Jamaica. Recently I discussed it, and then fortunately, we see some research carried out by the NDCA surrounding students. Yes, actual school picnic. For them go around, talk to them, and them guidance counselors find out what's motivating and influencing them. You're going to want to hear this. But before I'm going further, I want to send a special happy anniversary shout out to the council family. That's Greg and Joan Council celebrating their anniversary. So Joan, you already know your husband Gregory, long time page and supporter. You might know, know say him consider himself, you know, very fortunate to find a wife like you and a mother to his children. You know, he holds it in very high regard. He tell me say seven picking you now. Right, I mean I know if I type out that hour, but him say seven. Right. All me know when I mean business. Look like it's a football team when I try to build, like when I try to rebuild Barcelona. So Greg and Joan, big up on yourself and I hope you have another 100 anniversary scene. So, I'm going to move into the video. Chevelle, gas station. Doing her job, she was literally pumping gas in the car when the man didn't come for her. I'm going to play the video clip, short clip, courtesy of CVM, and I'm wanting to check this out. The station between pumps, when one man alighted from the motorcycle, he casually walked to the vicinity of the pump attendant who was serving a customer at the time, while flanked by her colleagues. The gunman then aimed his firearm in the direction of Chevelle, who was hit multiple times. The armed men were able to flee the scene. The gunmen were earlier seen here, apparently carrying out surveillance before the shooting. The incident has left workers traumatized. On the time it? How long gonna get? When you read 60 seconds? When time these attacks happen? If somebody is not on the scene, armed, and can respond immediately, dog name is supper. If you're very lucky, somebody else see what happen, right, and challenge the gunman then. In that video clip right there, so, ask yourself this question. How much time you get for call the police? How much time would anybody on the scene, even Forget about Chevel, who clearly never really expect what going because the man name come from around the car. But holy pack here did it. Let's say somebody sit on the car and watch what is about to happen. That person is unarmed, but the man their phone. That person start dial them phone the moment the man then come off of the bike. What would happen? Nothing. By the time the phone answer. She will dead and the man ain't gone. Let me say that one more time. If somebody was in the car watching one go on, if the person even wait before the gun come out, once them see somebody jump off of the bike, if them have divine foresight and start dial the phone right there, sir, by the time the phone answer and them say hello, what go by the time them say, Missy somebody ago, before they can say dead, the man ain't gone. That's how fast these things happen. But hey, your favorite walk to this. Tell you, say, people who preach self defense, you know, are, you know, maniacs, gun obsessed nuts. You know, you, you don't need all that. Just call the police. Remember, these people have bodyguards, by the way, because I'm mostly, you know, big time Hollywood celebs and entertainers and, you know, walk to this who push this nonsense, you know. Especially the foreign one, them. And them live, them have bodyguard. Are your favorite big time politician who also have access to bodyguard and security if they want it? Then people on the make telling them say, right. say, don't worry man, let's call the police. The police can help you. Right. You have only part time. In this scenario, somebody should have jumped out of the car and say, hold on, Mr. 87. Before you shoot this mother of two, right. give me some time. But just call 119 and them say them on the way. 
and 87 of them would have sit up on the bike and say, well, you know, that's this is the right thing to do. Let's wait for them come. This this is what it's all about having morals and values and you know the, the right thing to do is just to wait. It's rubbish. You don't have time on your hand. You better hope say somebody upon the scene is armed and willing to challenge the gunman or dog na me supper. But said it many times before. Every man free for do what they want do. Everybody entitled their own opinions. Good luck though. Calling the police and all that. Hope they get there in time. Now, we can move on to the whole Mali thing. Recently I did a video talking about Jamaican youths getting hooked on all kind of foreign drugs and drugs are there about long time but never really, you know, in the hands of Jamaican youths. They never really depend on anything there until now. We mentioned some of the favorite celebs them. Right. I bring them things to the youths, make them things that sound cool, make them things that sound fun, make the youths some more explore. Now, of course, there's always the argument that parents should do this and parents should do that. Yes, we know that. But here's the thing we're not talking about parents, which data we're not looking at. Because most Jamaican youths don't have parents. Most Jamaican youths have a parent. The majority of Jamaican households are led by a female. That is a fact. And if you know that and know the challenges, why would you want to make things worse, Mr. Celebrity? It's like that, you know. Oh, you want know, to my business, you know, appearance to do them job. I want to know, say, most of them need to know appearance. Well, you know that. So it's disingenuous. And even if they had parents, why would you still want to push it upon them? And then hope, say, the parents stop them from going there, so. Just think about what they must say, you know. It's like somebody flinging a stone through your window, and then I got to tell you, so, well, you should have a bulletproof glass. I would tell us if you have regular window. Like if you have good window, you stone and you go through. Let like them do you know? They throw these things at the youths and then say, well, I would tell us if you don't have good parents. I would tell us if you only have one parent. I would tell us if you, your mother busy and all the time, check your backpack this way. I would tell you that. And it's not my fault. It's extraordinary. But these are the people you idolize. The mother saying, was say, when they fling stone in the ag pen, they are going to get lick bar out. Some of the fans of certain artists who feel like me that talk about film artists when time the whole Mali thing come up. You know, link up. We are we are trouble my artists for well, bad mind they don't bad mind him none you wanna come bad mind my artists. That's what I do. Are you deaf? I bad mind scam and fight against artists and make up things to get views. Why are you surprised? But how about make somebody who don't have a YouTube channel and is not known Right, for fighting against artists and scammers right, and bad minding them. Tell you know what go on in Jamaican youth. We have a research analyst from the NDCA. Right? It's a, her name is Yuki Atkinson. Yukai Atkinson, I don't know. Probably Yuki or Yukai. But she works for the NDCA. Research analyst. Not a local YouTuber. Not a bad mind YouTuber. This is a big title. Them go around Jamaica, interview Jamaican students, listen to what them say. This is coming from Nationwide. Check this out. When we asked about the popular substances that are currently being used, molly, vaping, and edibles are what came out as the top three. Now, prior to this, what the council has found in our studies is that alcohol, tobacco, and cannabis were the most pop popular substances. Our context is changing. With molly, just give you some quick facts, just to say that it is one of the party drugs that have become more popular in recent times. We did not typically have a pill popping culture, nor or do we typically have an injection drug use culture but things are changing now the new name for scamming as if you all don't know and you must know is what chopping the line so chopping the line is also something that came out quite significantly and we're not only talking about we need to make this very clear it's not only western parishes so in the past it was felt that you know scamming is something that the western parishes are engaging in this was across the 13 parishes that we went to both students and guidance counselors spoke about their involvement in scamming and the fact that some of the students have not returned to school because of the money that they're earning from scamming and the fact that they have lost interest in academics. The students were able to describe 
what the pills look like. They were able to tell us where they get them, who uses them, how it is used, that it is crushed. Sometimes it's put into alcohol. It's used at parties. They were able to say it's had, it, you know, it has, it has been around. It's not something new, but it is something that is becoming more popular, mainly because of how much more exposed they are to it through the music. That is what came out. While popular music may sound good and, you know, it has its place, what we would like to highlight is that it is significantly impacting our young people. They referenced a number of DJs, which maybe we wouldn't speak about that right here now. But, but those things came out in, in the focus groups, the heavy influence of Mali use and, and access to cannabis and drinking and smoking and badness and so on. All of that came out. There are still people right, who claim to them educated, claim say them have various degrees who look at flat in their face and tell us the music can't influence you to do nothing. Well, them talk to the youths themselves. And the youths them tell them, how oh, am I getting at this? How oh, am I getting at that? When you hear them say, the way they're telling about Mali and the entertainment and the music, the way they're showing the juice world and showing how him will seem life, the way they're showing how future say, him never know say, in music will influence you to go try jobs. So now we see Jamaican youths are telling us that right, we make them try jobs. We make them draw to certain things. But the powers that be, especially the multi billion dollar music industry, will ignore and suppress this. This will not be all over your favorite radio station because the machine needs people to continue to consume the madness and feel guilt free and say, well, you know, I have nothing for doing nothing. Well, let me tell you something, right? NDCA. And your research, artists and politicians, big politicians, on the claim say very educated, come out and say music can't influence them for nothing. So when the youth them say they're influenced by the music, a bad mind and bad mind. It's all bad mind. My fight against the artists, them. My fight against the music, they more be artists than bad mind. Right? NDCA, bad mind. Research analysts, bad mind. Let me tell you something right now. NDCA. Jamaican entertainers refuse to accept their social responsibility. Right? And no amount of research now gonna change that. Except if that social responsibility involves members of the rainbow community. When it comes down to sprats, they accept that words can be harmful and they apologize and they say I won't sing that song anymore because it's hurtful. And them say, well, you know what? We don't want to say kill sprats because you know that might incite violence against a particular group. Remember, kill sprats equal murder music and might incite violence. Kill informer equal just words and art. Let me say that one more time. And I will not stop saying it. Jamaican entertainers only care about their social responsibility and only accept the powers they have to influence when it surrounds members of the rainbow community. They will not say kill sprats because that will incite violence and it might, you know, cause people to go do harm to others. But they will say kill informer, kill Pitney, kill granny, kill the, kill the whole family. That's just art. That's just entertainment. Words can't do about nothing and words can't influence them you know, to do nothing. So, when you do your research, your bad mind research, it's a waste of time. The people who own the publishing companies, own the record companies, many of them, by the way, who don't look like your favorite artists. Many of them, by the way, are Billy Joe, who own, you notice the word may I use? Own. Right. Control. You see, anytime when I learn to stop, focus on the puppet to in front of you, you know the bling bling are distracting you know, and look beyond it and look who actually control the publishing who control this and who control that and the big record companies then you see all by design only the black community and push them things there too just look on the type of youths them where they must sign and a push this is the machine they're pushing this it's almost like other type of artists, dead and buried. Yeah, one life no more man can sing another type of song. It's a machine. 
a machine with a purpose. And your favorite celebs them? Puppets. Man use them, make them push them foolishness. When they have water down, you must dash them and find one new puppet. This research will fall upon deaf ears. The Jamaican public don't have time for this. Remember, the need for entertainment is greater than the need to see Jamaica become a better place. Even if it means that they own a picnic, I fall by the wayside and I get consumed in all kind of foolishness. I mean, after all, no them picnic they were unwanted anyway. Bunch of unwanted, ugliest, loveless children running around. But don't take my word for it. I'm just a bad mind YouTuber. Wait till one expert come telling you what is clearly obvious. Anyway, Patreon squad, you open the cell. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. All life. Ultra squad. See you circling. Bless.